Next question, the member for Davenport. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. The government's plan to have high school students take the equivalent of an entire semester of coursework online is raising alarms with parents and experts alike. While the data is scarce, what we do know is that far too many students fail to complete these courses because they don't have the supports they need. Questions are swirling Government about access side, to come technology, to order. suitability for all types of learners, and the overall quality of the educational experience. Can the minister provide any evidence that shifting 440 hours of in-person learning out of the classroom and online will be good for students? Minister of Education. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and it's a pleasure to stand today in this House and talk about the amazing ways we're bringing education back in Ontario. We're making education work for you, your sons, families of our, our families of our members in this House, our teachers, and every single person who cares about making sure that we correct the mess that the Liberal government, the past administration, mired us into. And let's talk about online learning for a second. Do you know there are school boards across this province that lead by example, and their students are embracing online learning. They're, it doesn't matter whether it's rural Ontario, northern Ontario, or urban Ontario. Teachers and boards are leading the way. And my question back to the member opposite is, why is she so caught up in the past? Why on earth is that Response. member in the past and not embracing the technology for the good it can bring into our classrooms? All I can say to that speaker is, shame on her. Okay. Stop. Thank you. We start the clock. Supplementary, the member for Davenport. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the minister knows perfectly well this is not about preparing students to use technology or build resiliency. It is about less face-to-face -face learning, less one-on-one -on -one attention, because this government is cutting 10 and teaching jobs and forcing students into mandatory online courses. Government side, the come government to order. Member didn't for Carleton, just unilaterally change Mr. graduation Bond, requirements with the stroke of a pen here. It also signaled that the delivery of e-learning programs would be shifted away from school boards and centralized. Parents don't know who will be delivering these courses, where or how students will take them, or what will happen if students fail to complete the courses. Minister, who will be delivering online Online courses to Ontario students. You know what, Mr. Speaker? <laughs> Honest to goodness, and to the people watching, I say, please don't get caught up in the rhetoric of this opposition party because it's absolutely yes. nothing but nonsense that yes. they're spewing across Ontario. So the fact of the matter is, in my home riding of Kieran Bruce, Avon Maitland is doing a phenomenal job bringing math into the classroom and supplementing it with online facts and learning. Honest to Pete, there's so many great examples <laughs> that we can use as best practices. Seriously, Speaker, this party is doing nothing but fear Mongering. And to that end, I want to quote the CBC fact check from yesterday, where you know we've heard this party opposite go on and on and cause fear in parents and teachers alike. But the CBC fact check Response. just yesterday said boosting the average secondary size to 28 would see Ontario rank on the lower end of the spectrum wow. across Canada. So, Please take your seats. And I'll inform again the government members that once the standing ovation erupted, I could not hear the Minister of Education, even though she's quite close. I had to stand up and interrupt her. Also come to order.